Hey folks, look at this rare beautiful one here to find in circulation. Very rare to find any low serial number stars like this in circulation. They're non-stop out there. These treasures, folks, are non-stop. Imagine getting this one here, folks, with seven zeros and a nine and a star. You're looking at a four or five grand note right here. I'm getting, I'm feeling really lucky, you know, next week, you know, coming up. And, you know, today I'm still going to do a few more bill hunting, but it's going to be the Unleashed next week, folks. You guys want to get lucky and you guys want to, you know, score? Try looking through 500 wands or 1,000 wands at one time for an example. And then you see how your collection and everything changes for you. Like I said, the, statistically, folks, in consistency, the more you look through, the more probable you are of finding some beautiful treasures. I find, you know what makes this the most interesting of all? Is you just don't know what you're going to run into that day. You just don't know what's going to be coming. And then once you hit something, you're like, wow, I never really expected anything like that. You guys go out there, folks. You guys have fun, learn, collect, sell, buy, whatever, you know, whatever you like, you know. This is a beauty right here. I mean, any you know, anytime you find low serial number stars like this, it's a huge score. Once this starts going, five zeros, six zeros, seven zeros, folks, the value jumps like like crazy high, substantially high, you know? You guys keep searching. You know what the number one key is that I keep saying it nonstop? There was days, folks, that I searched and I found nothing, right? And then what I do is anything that I buy, I pay cash. I do not use my debit. I do not use credit. If you use plastic, you'll get zero. No money in, that means no money out. So, so in other words, there was times, folks, that I didn't get anything or score. And then, you know, you go somewhere and you pay, you know, I always use like 20 bucks to pay for a coffee. So I get, you know, 17, 18 bucks back, whatever, right? And then, folks, I've got some great bills and change. I'm like, no way. I can't believe this. I didn't get any star notes or anything significant all day hunting. And then I just got it from change. You know, going to the big box stores when you pay, put in a hundred dollar bill, you know, get 90 back for an example. You know, what's really good too, folks, is the ATM because you can just go into your, you know, any ATM bank that you have an account with, you know, any little location there, pull out, say, an X amount of money, right? And then that's it. Go, you know, go through it, get 20s, get 50s, get hundreds, whatever works for you, get 10s. And then don't forget that you could always just go to the next ATM and then just redeposit it. See, what I would do, though, is I wouldn't redeposit at the ATM. I would go to another branch and I would ask for large in return so I get that extra thousand I'm looking at. You know what I mean? So you keep the same. Folks, the bottom line is you keep the same amount going. I mean, that's the whole key here. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the love. I send the love back. Let me know if there's anything that I can help you guys with. You might have any questions. Thank you.